Any news from Lisa Hayes? Sorry, sir. We're having a hard time reaching anyone. That storm probably... Damn. Must be one hell of a hurricane to cut us from the whole planet. Chief Administrator, I'm showing a weight discrepancy on the Bentonville's manifest. They just asked for a takeoff accreditation, but half the shipment is still a dock. Half, you say? Well, we just earned a bonus. I'll allow them to take off right away. Protocol dictates... How many times? Company protocol doesn't mean anything out here. What works, works. And we're already behind schedule. Director Price... ...isn't here. And if I do recall correctly, Deputy Administrator Hayes, your shift ended half an hour ago. So get the hell off my command deck and let me do my job. You look troubled, Administrator. Is there anything I can do to help? Thank you, Daniel. But no. I'm just having one of those days, you know? Another argument with Administrator McDonald. How did you guess? I may be synthetic, but I'm not blind. 
Are you sure I can't be of assistance? No. It's my problem, and I'll take care of it. I just need to reach my office. Of course. But I'm afraid this corridor is closed due to maintenance. You'll need to detour through the cafeteria. Welcome, Administrator Hayes. Aboard the Bentonville. What are you talking about? The dock crew and Cargo Bay 4 are dead. Dead? That's not funny. Something got loose and killed. <laughs> Power failure. Power failure. Engaging emergency generators. What just happened? I can't let that happen. Daniel, you all right? Deputy Administrator, it appears that these creatures have destroyed our communication system. Why would they do that? They're animals. Sorry, I have no idea. I wish I could help you further. Shit, the Bentonville. I need to stop that ship. Daniel, our planetary quarantine protocols, they're still operational, aren't they? I do believe so, Deputy Administrator. What do I do? Those things have to come from the planet. If even one gets off-world... No, there's no choice. I can stop them. Deputy Administrator, you're only following the Wayland yutani containment procedures. The Cerberus protocol was specifically designed for a situation like this. What you're doing is only right. Right. Yes. Warning. Three ships detected. USS Otago, Bentaville, Baldrin. Will be caught in the high orbit interdiction radius. Please confirm command. I am so sorry. Cerberus protocol activated. Purging contaminant vectors. Stand by. Stand by.
Come on. We'll cover you. You? Administrator Hayes, where are you going? We're getting to safety, Daniel. Please, come with us. I'm afraid I can't permit that. Cerberus protocols are in effect. I know, but we can't stay. It's not safe. The protocols are clear. Nothing in, nothing out. I'm sorry, Administrator Hayes. Would you look at that? Hell, she's taking a pounding. Otago, this is Harper. Do you copy? Hunslet, can you get us aboard? No way, Sarge. Between the debris and the decaying orbit, death trap. Damn it. At least those platforms are leaving us alone. They're designed for planetary quarantine. But Lethe has to remain operational. Low orbit is considered safe, but beyond that, it's, it's a dead zone. Cerberus will shut down everything attempting to go through, in both directions. Cerberus, huh? You seem to know a lot about it. I know everything about it. I'm Pioneer Station. That's my job. Yeah? You know why I decided to turn the Otago into scrap metal? I... I don't know. Systems failure, maybe? You saw the state of the station. Shit! There she goes! Fuck! Follow her down, Hunslet! No problem. Fireball like that's hard to miss. Welcome home, Harper. You like what I've done with the place? Martinez! It's good to see you, Sarge. Sergeant Martinez, is it... is your communication system working? It's online, but... we're only picking up static. These colonies sure have a relay problem. But who's asking? Meet Deputy Administrator Hayes from Pioneer. Where's Captain Cochran? There's shit going down on that station like you wouldn't believe. Gone. The whole command staff's gone. You're it. Me! Ah, uh, you made sergeant before I did. You've got seniority. Yeah, sure, but these are the captain's orders, as in the deathbed kind. So this shit's all yours, he insisted. If you want me, I'll be in the armory, seeing what survived the crash. Yeah, do that. I have a feeling we're gonna need it. Ace, you better come with me. Ah, damn. What do we do now? We don't know what is happening on the surface of this planet. McDonald's, my boss, he sure didn't. We have to get in contact with someone if we hope to get out of this mess. I hate to rain on your parade, but the Otago's shithoused. Even if it wasn't, how do we get out past those Cerberus platforms? Well, they'll stop a ship, but not a signal. If we create our own relay, perhaps we could broadcast from low orbit, just in case a ship passes by. You want to create a sort of satellite? We're not a pirate radio station, Deputy Administrator. Or we could contact Pharaoh Spire. Director Price you needs to- You heard, Martinez. The relays on this rock could be down for good. You want to send a message? Get out and start walking already. There has to be something we can do. Maybe there is. But I'm not seeing it. So you're gonna sit here and do nothing? Like hell. After what happened up there, regs are clear. We're on an alert footing. 
There could be a hostile biomorph loose on Lethe. So we've got civvies in danger and no way to contact them, right? What about Otago's short-range frequency receiver? Yeah, that could work. For now. But that doesn't solve our broadcasting problem. We have to you warn the You find a way we can do that? Then maybe, maybe we can talk about making that happen. Until then, we save everyone we can. We're Marines. That's the job. You want to help? Get familiar with this ship. What's left of it, anyway. Deputy Administrator Hayes? I'm Administrator Hayes, I know. I don't want to seem unwelcoming, but I don't really have time to talk right now. A lot of Marines are hurting, half my orderlies are dead, and the medbay's being held together with bailing tape. How many casualties are we looking at? Between the platforms and the crash? At 20. And that'll double before the day's out. There's another 10 unaccounted for in Hangar Bay 3, but the doors are decompression sealed, so we know how that'll go. It'll get worse still if I don't get back to it, so if you'll excuse me. Yes, sorry. Sorry. Hey, new girl. Sorry, but I'm pretty busy right now. The crash buckled half the support bulkheads. That's all I can do to stop this place caving in. All right, I'll let you get on. Thanks. Administrator Hayes. I can't tell you how glad I am to see another Wayland yutani face aboard. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Becker. The company assigned me to the ship in order to oversee trials of a new cryo-sleep routine. But I can't see that happening now. Look at the state of my lab. Months of vital research gone. If I at least had power, I could salvage the backups. But these brutes keep ignoring me. Perhaps you could... Sorry, Doctor, but they're not exactly friendly to me, either. It's not about friendly. Who holds higher authority? A Wayland yutani executive or your typical Marine? Where does half the USCM's funding come from? Who provides their weapons, hmm? You might want to push them. I'm sure they'll back down. Thank you, Doctor. You've given me a lot to think about. Well, of course I have. Deputy Administrator Hayes to the bridge. Hayes, please report to the bridge. Have a nice day, Administrator. All right. This is what the short-range frequency receiver picked up. It's a distress message from a nearby colony. Oh no. You thinking what I'm thinking? We have to go there. See for ourselves. What? I feel for those people, but we're blind here. If we're to save anyone, we need proper comms. We got them. The Otago, Hunslet's dropship, our vehicles, my marines, they all speak the same language. Courtesy of the USCM comm system. That's not what it's I meant. It's a military decision, Hayes, which means it's my decision. Those folks need help. Fine. What do you need from me? Well, normally I'd lead the squad and an officer would run oversight. You know, intel, tactical, from the ARC, our armored recon carrier. I can do that, but I need you to handle the rest from here on the Otago. Oh, I thought I wasn't military. Don't I know it. Listen, if I'm gonna keep my people alive, I need someone with smarts for when mine falls short. If it helps, this ain't exactly what I signed on for either. Welcome to the Colonial Marines. So, hostile critters, a wiped out colony, Hunslet being Hunslet. How'd you find your first day in the Corps? I don't know. It's a lot to take in. If it helps, you're doing okay. Thank you. I'm glad it's over. My nerves are shot. Oh, it ain't never over. But for now, we got some time. Good. Gives me a chance to work on the comms. If only we could hear from Director Price and Pharaoh Spire. We could use her help. Dr. Becker's been trying the whole time we were deployed. It turns out most long-range transmitters are down. 
If someone's home at Pharos, they probably can't pick up. Do you think those things can be there too? Judging by what happened on Pioneer, it's clear that they're spreading extremely fast. Then you'd better get familiar with the Otago right now. We can't give those creatures the benefit of time. Deputy Administrator Hayes? Ah, Administrator. I wanted to... Oh. Going that badly, is it? I'll get back to you on that. Can I do something for you? Actually, yes. I was hoping you might persuade Sergeant Harper to retrieve some samples of the creatures. One can never have too much information about one's enemies. I didn't know you worked in corporate espionage, Doctor. <laughs> Very droll. On the other hand, I do find that science and skullduggery have a surprising overlap. Both require focus and a keen eye for detail. One supposes. True enough. And you're right. We need more information on these things. I'll talk to the sergeant. Have a nice day, Administrator. Chief Engineer Corrigan, isn't it? We met before. Oh, it's you. Sorry about that, I... You had your hands full. Things look better now. They are. Came together faster than I thought. Ain't pretty, but we're functional and, I hope, stable. Harper told me we got splashed after some kind of failure in the planetary quarantine protocols. Something called Cerberus? That's what's going around, certainly. More corporate corner cutting. What a fucking mess. Anyway, I should be able to produce equipment for our Marines now. Anything I can do to help? Well, I don't think this ship will ever be spaceworthy again. But that doesn't mean we have to abandon her. It could be shelter, you know? For these people. For us. The only problem is dear Otago took a beating. I got holes to patch. Cables to reconnect. Our cryo chambers, our shield, their history. In short, we're missing materials. Spare parts to turn into upgrades for both our guys and the ship. Look, no promises, but we could ask the Marines to check for materials in Dead Hill storehouses during their next visit. It all helps. Administrator Hayes, what brings you to my corner of the Otago? Sergeant Harper says I should take a look around. He's probably trying to keep me busy. Yeah, the devil loves idle hands. I can't give you a tour. We're still digging through the wreckage. How does it look? Well, we've more portable weapons than we've got Marines to carry them. So if you find anyone out there with training, you point them in my direction. As for the ordnance, it's pretty much scragged. What about the emergency escape vehicles? <laughs> that satellite relay idea of yours, huh? Yeah, Harper told me. If we can get the fuel linkages repaired, we might salvage one EEV. But I'd be damned before I let you play with the only life pod we have left. And how useful is a single life pod on a crashed ship, exactly? Yeah. You're pretty convincing. I'll give you that. All right, take it. But keep me updated. Troops! Eddies! Back from your tour? How'd it go? Pretty good, I think. Dr. Becker requested some samples of the creatures for study. And Chief Corrigan is in need of components to turn this ship into a proper base. I thought you were all about getting your message out. There's nothing to say we can't do the one so long as it doesn't endanger the other. Is there? True enough. All right. Let's go back to Dead Hills. I have a feeling we missed something there. The same feeling you have when these creatures come around, Sergeant? This is hardly the moment, Deputy Administrator. Listen, Sergeant Harper. Your abilities, they could be tied to this outbreak. If there are more like you out there, it could help. People should know. They have the right to you know. You mind your own business, Hayes, and I'll take care of mine. You have a relay to find and I have men to lead. We both have a part to play. This conversation's over. 